into insights. V-Love here. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you're doing well and feeling good. So for today's reading, I wanted to tap into the energy of Ryan Dorsey, who is the ex-husband of Naya Rivera. As some of you know, Naya Rivera passed away uh, a few weeks ago. Um, she went missing with her son. She was the Glee actress. You know, there was a lot of... Um, just a lot going on during that time when she was missing until they found her body. And I know that her ex-husband, you know, everyone is grieving. Everyone is sad. Everyone is devastated because it's a tragedy. It's something completely unexpected. I know that her husband has made some posts on social, med on social media where he just, you know, expressed his grief and his sadness to the fact that, you know, Naya is no longer here and that his son no longer has his mother in the physical presence. So I really wanted to tap into to his energy as well as Naya's energy to deliver some messages of healing and support for him and to really see what's going on and you know what what can be done to really help him, you know, losing someone so suddenly and so unexpectedly, you know, is very difficult and then, you know, losing someone and still having to raise a child and they're no longer here it's devastating it's heartbreaking i i feel so much for uh josie her son and his son and i feel you know very sad for you know her mother and her family at this loss this is this is just very difficult so you know it's a little bit of heavy energy so just bear with me as I get through this. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. So the energy of Ryan Dorsey. Thank you so much, Spirit. I think he's really just trying to just figure out what to do. I think collectively him and Naya were a very strong team. I know that you know they they were divorced, but I think when it came to their son, there was something you know, solid about how they parented Josie, you know, how they parented their child. And it's just difficult, as I'm sure it would be for anyone to continue to navigate without his mother being there and with him kind of just having to do it, you know, on his own. I also sense that him and Naya may have had, may not have really had the opportunity to really address some of the things that may have occurred during their relationship, during their marriage. And I think there's some unresolved issues there as well. I feel as though she really wants to just let him know that she appreciates him and she appreciates, you know, the lessons that were learned during their time together. And I feel as though she adored him as a father, praised him as a father, um, and loved him there's love there's love there there's a lot of love there and now you know he has his son who is also the love and energy of naya as well so spirit let's just show what's going on with brian dorsey thank you so much Woo. that fun up we had nine of swords that came out so he's just really worried, you know, I see him as really not sleeping at night. Like I said, I really feel as though there were some unresolved things between him and I that never really got addressed while she was still here. There could have been unresolved feelings, you know, maybe in some ways he did want to work it out and she wanted it to work out, but they didn't know how to. I know that there was some sort of domestic situation between them at one point too, so maybe you know, things just ended in a way that was tos toxic and they never really had the opportunity to address it in a way that was really healthy um, and organic to the love that was once there between them, you know, even before their son was born. So I just, uh, this poor man is just worried out of his mind. And I also feel I also feel this for the son as well and just just her family her mother especially her mother especially thank you so much spirit 
Oh goodness, there's so much that came in. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups here. So, you know, just walking away from some things. Um, hmm. We also have the King of Swords and then we have the Empress as well. So, you know, Ryan is really trying to walk into a space of mental clarity I also feel as though with the moon here, you know, he's very, very much in his head. You know, I don't think he's really thinking clearly in terms of, you know, what's real or what's not real. I, I honestly almost feel like he just doesn't believe that she just is no longer here with us. Like, I really feel like he cannot see or think straight or understand why Naya is no longer here. Like... And he's trying to find peace. He's trying to be in a strong mental place, you know. He's trying to think logically and figure everything out. But he's having a very difficult time right now. And we also have the Empress here. So I feel as though there's definitely a female presence. This is also, this could be Naya's energy. This could be a mother figure. This could be me a grandmother figure as well. Maybe a grandmother figure that's passed on. Um, and this could also p potentially be Naya's mother, but I feel like there's some, you know, feminine energy, whether, and this could also be, I don't know if he had a girlfriend or any other relationship, but I feel like there's a strong, you know, feminine presence in his life who is trying to help assist him in building some mental strength right now, but I see him as having a very difficult time and not able to see clearly He's trying to walk into this mental clarity, but it's it's very tough and it's very challenging for him right now. Um, I also don't know, like I don't know if he had anyone. I don't know if there's any woman maybe in his life or around him that could potentially also be pregnant or be with child. But, you know, this Empress energy is very, very strong there's definitely someone close who's trying to bring some sort of healing or there's something in his situation or in his circle that he's trying to really hold on to whether it be like the memories of naya um as well as just his son you know just his son that that's definitely it his son you know really holding on to that energy and the love of his son as he tries to navigate some mental strength right now Oh goodness. Let's see, Spirit. What else can you tell us? Let's let's just clarify. I was gonna say clarify the nine of swords and we have rest and rejuvenation, which is similar to the um the four of swords, the four of swords energy. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of sword energy here. He has to really take some time to himself maybe take a trip with him and his son, get grounded in nature. Also similar to this Empress card, he may really need to get grounded with nature and really, you know, tap into um, just the spiritual forces are all around him. I really feel, I feel two strong spirits around him, whether that be Naya or a grandmother figure around him that I feel as though they're really trying to send him healing at this time. He really needs to rest. Like, I feel like this man is not even sleeping. Like, I really feel like he's not even sleeping. He does not know what to do, honestly. Yeah, this man just doesn't know what to do. I don't know if he's a heavy drinker or anything like that. But I see something where he could be trying to drink his troubles away. We also have these cups here, as I mentioned, that these eight of cups. So maybe he's just not in the right mental place and he maybe needs to walk away. Maybe there's some sort of addictions. I don't know. There's just this. There's so much going through his mind right now. And I feel like he is not in a place of strong mental clarity. And he really needs to step away, step outside take a break break rest and rejuvenate but you know let's see let spirit please confirm the eight of cups thank you so much 
these cards difficult to shuffle thank you so much eight of cups clarification yes he's walking away and he's trying to hold on to the spiritual strength similar to the nine of wands he's trying to be you know very courageous and resilient in the face of what's going on like you know oh my goodness i also see this as maybe him potentially having to walk away from naya and their marriage not lasting and him trying to find strength in that and it's almost like it's happening again like you know she's no longer here and he's walking into something new and something unknown once again and he's trying to really be strong he really like these cards really just go hand in hand like he's really trying to be strong but you know there's there's a lot on his plate there's a lot that he's holding on to you know i i also feel as though again i'm not sure you know what happened between them and what happened during the relationship but i feel as though you know like i said before there were some unresolved issues i feel like there's something he's holding on to that he he wants almost forgiveness for he wants to be forgiven in some ways and he's trying to hold on to that strength and that understanding of why things happened the way they did um and he i feel like he's just very sorry for how things you know turned out between them and you know how they were not able to really be together but i feel like they also did have a strong co-parenting relationship when it came to their son as well so he he he's really just going through it but let's clarify this king of swords thank you so much king of swords clarification spirit thank you so much king of swords clarification all right we have the truth judgment what did i just say forgiveness this is all about forgiveness right here he's trying to come into a mental and clear head right now not only forgive himself but forgive you know um just he wants to i think he wants to apologize to naya and he's saying in some ways naya i'm sorry uh i'm sorry you know, when I did the first reading that I did for her, I always felt like there was someone else that was supposed to be there too. I'm not sure if he was meant to be with her, but I always felt it was kind of strange for, you know, a young mother and a son to just go, you know, boat in by themselves with no one there. You know what I'm saying? A, a, a male figure or an, another friend, a mother, a sister, just someone else. Um some people might say oh that's not strange you know blah 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 to me it is because you know people can sometimes pray and watch single people or people that a woman and just their child so sometimes you just got to be cautious of things like that and for me personally that's not something i would want to do or i would want anyone else to do like you know so again i don't know if he was supposed to be there and this is part of the forgiveness that he's experiencing with the judgment card here but you know he's going to eventually come into the truth and understand that all is forgiven you know when it comes to the spiritual side of things you know forgiveness is something we kind of just create here on the physical plane when we you know go into spiritual form as we are but when we come out of our physical bodies and into the spirits that we are you know forgiveness and holding on and grudges and all that stuff doesn't exist it's things we we create forgiveness we cr create trying to say sorry you know we create all that when it's really not true to who we are because when we come to earth we come to earth with the understanding that we are going to have lessons and things that happen and we are going to learn good or bad we're going to learn so whatever happens is already forgiven and done because you know things will be out of our control when we're here on earth when we're here in a physical existence and you know experiencing th this life and you know this lifestyle so i i feel strongly that he's he's suffering or struggling mentally with the truth of the matter that naya is no longer here and i feel as though he's sorry and hurting 
and wants forgiveness for things that have happened, potentially things that he has said, potentially things between them that cause, you know, mental shift and mental imbalances between them. So let's see from Spirit if they can show us. Clarify, please, the Empress card. Thank you so much. Empress clarification. We have the third eye. So this is definitely divine communication and information that's coming through to him. Like I said before, I when I first said what I first said with this card with the Empress is that this could definitely also be Naya's energy or another female presence in his life. And I feel like from an intuitive perspective. Uh, place with the third eye chakra here that there's definitely some information that's coming in from spirit from the divine that's trying to heal him and help him and give him and nurture him in some ways and assist him as he's struggling right now um or this could this could also mean that his third eye could be blocked in some ways and he's not able to receive this communication because he's so anxious and because he's so worried. And I definitely feel as though this is definitely Naya's energy in some ways trying to communicate with him and let him know that everything's okay. Everything is fine. I'm still here. You know, I'm not going to leave. Um, I'm still watching over Josie. I really do feel that the energy of this specifically um and it's so interesting you know it's just crazy you know she was found in water and this is you know the water coming out so this is definitely Naya's energy trying to send him some communications really activate and get him to listen and pay attention to things that are coming through but I think and like I said I did mention alcohol he could be drinking a lot he, smoking there could be a combination of a couple different things where he's really not thinking clear enough to see or hear or listen to certain things that are coming in through spirit so like i said we really have to send this man some healing because i i think he's having a very very difficult time he i feel like he may be the type to you put on a good face especially for his son you know you have to you have to be strong for your son you have to really tap into the spiritual strength but i i almost feel like behind closed doors there's a lot that he's struggling with and he's having a very difficult time with. So let's see, Spirit, what else can you tell us for the overall energy of Ryan and what's ahead? Thank you so much. No place like home. I feel like this is this is him and Naya's energy and the feeling that they had and the home that they created with their son like and i really feel like he's replaying all that and and going through that feeling with her and i i also think that he's trying to come back into that energy he i really feel as though he's continuing to think about certain things but the home and the light that he shared with naya is something I feel as though he will cherish always and forever. No place like home. They created a home together, a family. They have a beautiful son. It's It would be hard for anyone to go through, to go through this loss. Then we have tre Treasure Island here. So, you know, I feel like the treasure island is really just him cherishing his son. And this is the treasure that he's left a, left with, you know. Although Naya is no longer here, um, he still has his son. And that is his treasure. That is his joy. This could also indicate maybe them getting away to a beach and maybe going somewhere and it, it almost feels like home maybe it will feel like naya is there with him if he takes a moment to himself and maybe takes a break and maybe him and josie just take a trip somewhere for for them to really feel okay feel like it's going to be okay okay and then we also have the imagine card here like i said before i really feel as though he's in his head a lot and trying to imagine and envision what what it was like when Naya was here and he's really trying to hold on if you look oh my goodness this is crazy if you look 
in the car there's a woman trying to hold on to the moon like this is literally him trying to hold on to the memories and everything that he created with Naya and everything that he experienced with Naya and the love that they shared for each other even even though the love that they had in the time that they had was cut short so let's just conclude with one last message leadership you know i think in some ways he he's going to come out of this stronger he's going to be able to lead his son in a way that is supported by the light supported by the universe um again he's really he's really trying to be strong i see i feel like he is a strong leader especially for his son and you know naya adored him as a father and appreciated their co-parenting relationship is what i feel like and he he's gonna eventually i think he is that leader now but he's gonna get more into that role now that he has to do it without naya he's really gonna become that leader and become that solid foundation for his son even in the face of the pain even in the face of all the conflicts that he's going for and relaxation like i said before he definitely needs to take some time away relax we have the moon energy here again a lot of moon energy a lot of intuition so there's there are things that he needs to do to really get away relax his mind relax his body maybe read a book or just or just talk out loud talk to spirit talk to nature whatever it may be to get him to a point where he feels whole not to say he doesn't feel whole right now but i feel like he feels a little incomplete and of course anyone will feel that way when they lose someone they love but i feel like when he takes the opportunity to rest rejuvenate relax step away he'll come into a different frame of mind which will allow him to process this loss in a more healthier way and when he does that you know he'll he'll continue to be that leader that he is that he's called to be i definitely feel like he's called to be a leader whether it's through his son or something else maybe this is a leadership role in some ways that will honor naya and her legacy and all that she accomplished as well so you know i send healing love and light to ryan to naya and her entire family her fans and all of her loved ones let me know what you think what are your thoughts on ryan's energy and what are your thoughts on naya and just the whole situation is just so sad and so tragic it, it's really just really heavy energy to process but i wish everyone healing love and light Please, you know, let me know what you think, comment, sub be sure to subscribe and also like this video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.